For components connected in series, that is, one after the other, in the same loop of wire, the total resistance is the sum of each component's resistance. The current, the current flowing through each component is always the same in a series circuit. And the potential difference of the supply is shared is shared between components in the ratio of their resistance their resistances. So let's just have a quick think of what this actually means. First of all, total resistance is the sum of resistances. If we connect two resistors together in series, let's say that this resistor is 10 ohms of resistance and this resistor is 20 ohms then the combined resistance is simply 10 plus 20 so we've got 30 ohms and in a series circuit series being a single loop let's say we had a resistor here and we had a resistor here maybe we put another resistor in here and we come back and here's the, the battery the, the current always travels, always flows from the positive and that current, let's say there's two amps of current going through this resistor well there'll be two amps of current here two amps here, two amps here, it's the flow of electricity and if you think about that as the flow of water from a pump through some pipes then the flow would have to be the same at all points otherwise we'd have a leak so the current in a series circuit is always the same at all points all the way around the series circuit. Now the last thing is to do with how the voltage of the the cell or the battery how that is divided up amongst the resistances and the the basic law is that it will divide up it will be shared between these two resistances in the ratio of their resistance so these are both the same resistance so they're going to take equal amounts of this 12 volts so across this resistance we will lose 6 volts of potential difference and then across this resistor we would leave lose another 6 volts because the charge would then return back to base with no more energy so to just complete this diagram we have 3 amps flowing here it is a series circuit so we must have 3 amps flowing there and we must have 3 amps flowing there. So those are key rules for series circuits involving the resistance, the current and how the potential difference of the battery or the supply is shared between the resistances.